What is allowed in a trim healthy sipper? For well, number one, it's like a, a good amount of water. I always say a quart, at least a quart of water. Okay, and you're allowed one teaspoon of fat source, because that could be like your MCT oil. It's MCT oil, which is my favorite. That's your like revving, metabolism, healthy, like coconut oil version. Okay, and then you can have no more than a fourth of a cup of a nut milk. And you could do a teaspoon of a protein powder like collagen, which is my favorite, or like whey protein or uh, plant protein. But this one is definitely my favorite. I Not all of the sippers have these things, but those are the guidelines. Less than a teaspoon of oil, uh, less than a teaspoon of a protein source, lots of water, and then your flavorings, like low glycemic uh, flavorings. And of course you can have stevia or a sweetener, okay? So those are the guidelines for a sipper. Uh, this one is Good Girl Moonshine, and it doesn't have anything like that in that. It just has apple cider vinegar, ginger, and then a sweetener if you want, okay? Um, then I have another one here that is a favorite, and it's a lot of water, and it has a couple limes, and some coconut flavoring, and a little bit of stevia. Okay, so there's so many options, but there are ones like the shrinker that shrinks your fat cells that's made with this oolong tea. Does have a teaspoon of collagen and a little bit of nut milk in it, and you can put MC2 oil in it. So they're all different kinds. Some of them, um, a few of them have caffeine, some of them don't have any caffeine at all. Tons of varieties and made to boost your hydration for sure to give you like joy because you're drinking something so delicious and there's so many different flavorings you will never get bored